Here we are, ladies. Day 15. Ooh, Ooh, yes. yes. Yeah, I'm excited. So yes. look, we have a great topic. The crucif the prayer of crucifixion. What are your thoughts on that? Anybody? Okay, well, okay, let me, I really just asked. I, really just asked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to, you know, open up. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But look, since doing this fast, I have been tempted several times to eat something that I vowed mm -hmm. I was not going to eat. Mm -hmm. But after reading this chapter, I realized it wasn't about the food. It's about our relationship with God. You are absolutely right. You know, this chapter helped clarify what Jesus meant in Luke 9, 25, when he says that if anyone is to come after me, he must deny himself and pick up his cross daily. So to crucify ourselves is to yield to Christ and no one else. Yeah, that's true. Well, I learned that when Jesus was crucified, my old nature was crucified also. My life is not my own. Christ lives in me and I live by faith. It's not fanatical, it's practical. It is. Yeah. We have to know what self-crucifixion really means in order for us to grow for Christ. Please God first, family second, and others third. Now also now understand that it's not about us being victorious in the things that we do, but it's about us being victorious through God. Right. And yes. remember, going without food will not gain you merit. But when you put God first by praying and studying His Word, instead of eating or doing otherworldly pleasures, then that will be honored by God. Yes. So remember ladies, that's push, right? Until something happens. Yeah.